Hello, it's Alonzo at alonzosblog.com. I was 16 years in Scientology, 15 years in anti-Scientology, and I've been eight years out of both, writing about each. Today, I'm going to ask the five questions Mike Rinder and Leah Remini won't answer on their Fair Game podcast. They never answered in their Scientology and the Aftermath TV show. Mike has never answered them on his blog. Leah has never tweeted about it, and they have never even addressed any of these things on their Mike and Lily YouTube channels. So because they will never address them, I will ask them. Under the pretense that they are really trying to get a federal investigation of the Church of Scientology and that they actually want its tax exemption revoked, Mike Rinder and Leah Remini play a game where they ask listeners to send them questions that they can answer on their show. In the past, such questions have included where Leah got her accent from and whether Mike has any pets. It's such a fan favorite, they've done it again for an upcoming episode. But when I try to get them questions to answer on their podcast, my comments always seem to get deleted on Mike's blog. So I'll publish them here. One, what actions did Mike Render take to silence the women coming forward in 2003, 2004, claiming that they'd been raped by Danny Masterson? And this one has a bonus question, y'all. Who was the senior Scientology official who ordered Lisa Marie Presley to intimidate Jane Doe number one from going to the police? That that one is legally hot right now. There's a rumor that the grand jury is still open on the Danny Masterson trial. That would be a really important question for Mike Rinder to answer. Who was the senior Scientology official who ordered Lisa Marie Presley to intimidate Jane Doe one from going to the police? Lisa Marie died of a heart attack. So why hasn't Mike stepped up and named who that was? So just generally about on Mike Render, he said that after 13 years of being out, that he was in charge of handling all flaps and blows. And he reported what he had accomplished on these every day to David Miscavige for 22 years. Danny Masterson was a Scientologist on the hit TV comedy show, That 70s Show, in 2003 and 2004. And Mike Render was the commanding officer of the Office of Special Affairs at this time. This would have been the mother of all flaps. They continually described Render as the former spokesman during that show. Chrissy Bixler, Jane Doe number three, when I contacted her in season three of the show, never knew Mike Render was CO Osa when she came forward to report the alleged grapes, even though she had taped her interview with them two years before. So there's no way that question was going to get onto the podcast, right? You understand that? So also no way that they're ever going to do a Mike and Lily YouTube video about this. No way, right? All right, let's go on. Number two, why has Mike Render never revealed a crime by David Miscavige or any other officer of the Church of Scientology in the 14, now 15 years since he's been out of the Church of Scientology? It's the oddest thing, isn't it? Here's Mike Render, who ran the most criminal part of Scientology, Office of Special Affairs International, for 22 years, and he's never coughed up a crime? How can that be? Three, what was the name of the FBI agent you spoke to, Mike, about all this criminal activity? What office did you meet at? In what city? These questions were asked of Mike Rinder many years ago by a woman who desperately needed to work with the FBI regarding the Church of Scientology. Mike told her he couldn't remember. How could you ever forget an interview with a federal agent where you could be charged with a felony and sent to prison for lying? Answer, you don't forget that. Four, why were 14 pieces of evidence wiped clean of blood and fingerprints at the crime scene where Kyle Brennan died? Now, I'm not saying Mike knows who wiped that evidence clean. I do know that he knows why they would have been wiped clean. And I'll bet you he even knows who the people at the Clearwater Police Department were that they use for such operations. Why has Mike never talked about the corruption in the Clearwater Police Department and the Pinellas County Judicial System that he himself helped to set up. Number five, what lies about Jerry Armstrong were inserted into Scientology's filings to gain tax exemption in 1993? Mike has stated that he oversaw the development of all of the documents. He was responsible for them. He has stated that. So he knows what lies about Jerry Armstrong were inserted into Scientology's filings to gain tax exemption in 1993. And they had an episode on Scientology in the Aftermath regarding Scientology's tax exemption. None of this was ever mentioned. So my question to everybody is, when will they? 
Okay, Mike's been out for 15 years. He's had three seasons of a TV show. He's had a blog where he's had access to, to write daily blog posts, but he never has mentioned any of these things. He had a podcast with Leah, never mentioned. He does YouTube videos, never mentioned. Do you think he ever will? After 15, he wrote a book. He wrote a book, never mentioned in the book. After 15 years, do you really think Mike Rinder is ever going to address any of these questions or anything like them? After 15 years, I have decided conclusively, no, he will not. And I have to ask myself, why? What is he doing instead? If he's this big Emmy-winning whistleblower, why hasn't he ever revealed a crime? Do, do real whistleblowers never reveal crimes? Do real whistleblowers win Emmys? These are all important questions that Mike might discuss as well. Leah won't discuss them either. Leah has gone on with this. He, she's gone along with all this too. So I have to assume that Leah knows the answers to these things too. I, I just have to. I don't know that she does, but I have to assume she does. And that she herself has never taken to Twitter or any other public platform that she has to discuss any of these things. I just, I don't have an answer for Leah. I know about, I know Mike, okay? Mike's had a whole career of doing this stuff. Leah was just an actress, so I don't know about Leah. I'm hoping that Leah might step forward. I'm hoping that Leah might actually undupe herself. She would be awesome. Scientology and Mike Rinder and David Miscavige and Marty Rathbun have victims who have still not seen justice. Even after all this, Leah, they've not seen justice. Why are you just sitting there? All right. Thank you very much for listening. Over and out.